to come over to the dark-skinned side. No, I am your father. Probably. Are you boys crazy, um, fool me? What are you doing? Playing Star Gang War. Oh, for crap's sake, give me those. And Juicy, stop breathing like Darth Vader. I did. Uh oh. Hey, what are you boys doing around here cutting up anyway? Shouldn't you be in school cutting up? There is no school. Our teachers are out on strike. On strike? Now that's ridiculous. Don't they care about you kids? A mine is a terrible thing to waste. That's what the United Negro League says. Come on, boys. I'm calling a tennis meeting so we can get everybody on the same satchel page. Mm -hmm. As those of us who read the newspaper already know, the teachers went on strike yesterday. Now, we gotta figure out something to do with these kids. I know a sweatshop that's hiring. How fast can you stitch a baseball? Baseball? Yo, that sounds great. Yeah, stitching ain't bad either. They are not working in a sweatshop. Do you boys want to live in these projects all your lives? Because if you do, you're going to need an education. I'm not going to let the system rob you of that. That's okay, Super. We're used to getting robbed. Yeah, especially our school. Why can't we just stay home and play? Hey, look, you ain't gonna be just hanging around here all day doing nothing. You ain't grown. B.V., remember that big blizzard back when we were kids? We were stuck at home for two weeks. Uh-huh. I was so pissed because I couldn't see my boyfriend. Funny, it seemed so important then. Today, <laughs> I can't even remember what subject he taught. Anyway, while we were home, our mama taught us our lessons herself. Muriel, could you focus, please? We're trying to figure out what to do with the boys. Thurgood, I'm suggesting we should try homeschooling. Homeschooling? Wait, I just remembered. He taught anatomy. <laughs> Will you shut up? This ain't showtime at the Apollo. Thurgood, homeschooling's a good idea, and it's only temporary. The strike can't last that long. And we'd be helping the children. Yeah. Helping the children, huh? Yeah, you know, I don't know about that. Come on, Super. It'd be fun. Everybody can teach a different trades. I want to teach black history. Now, what do you know about black history, man? You're from Korea, Jimmy. You teach them driver's ed. Hmm. I'll teach social studies. And I'll teach debate. Oh, hell no, you won't. You win. Oh, this will be so much fun. Welcome to the Hilton Jacobs Honors Academy. Now we'll have our ceremonial first student walking through the metal detector. You see, if you will. What the? No. Oh, my stomach staples. <laughs> Juicy Hudson. Here. Juicy Hudson. Here. Last call. Juicy Hudson. Here. Here. Huh. Absent. Not a good way to start the semester. Okay, students, repeat after me. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Como esta? Como esta? Good. You even got the inflection. <laughs> now that the Negro has integrated baseball, can basketball be far behind? Only the 1950s will tell. Let me see that, Calvin. This book was written in 1948. Principal Stubbs, can you come here, please? Please make it fast, Mrs. Stubbs. I have some unfinished business. Thank good. listen to this. Before a young woman has a child, she may want to experience the workplace to have a better appreciation for just how hard her hubby works. Options include secretary, nurse, and me the maid, can you believe these professions? Yeah, they forgot the oldest one. They're good. This book is hopelessly out of date. We can't educate our children with these subpar materials. You are damn right. You, I said we could. We should go on strike. Oh, that's what got us here in the first place. Mm -mm -mm. Come on, boys. I have another plan. Next. <clears throat> I'm Principal Dean Headmaster Thurgood Stubbs of the Hilton Jacobs Academy, and I demand adequate learning materials for our students. Do you need the honors or remedial curriculum? Hmm. Uh, better give one of each. I'll just need to see your accreditation. No, oh, well, uh, no, uh, see, my credit's a little shaky right now. It seems there's a loose definition of what constitutes interstate bank fraud. 
No, Thurgood. She needs our qualifications. Just proof that all your faculty members have their diplomas. Are you insinuating that some of us are not qualified? We'll start with you. I am not qualified. Thurgood, you mean you don't have a diploma? But you told me you graduated. Oh, what's the big deal? The Navy didn't care and they let me fire a bazooka. I had 30 kills and now you're going to tell me I can't teach health? Sorry, all teachers must have a diploma. Next! Look, these boys need an education and I'm not going to let anything stop me from providing it to them. Fine. You want to teach these kids, then you got to go back to school yourself. Hmm? Boys, you're going to be sailors. agree with the board. You really should go back to school. You can take classes with Calvin and Juicy. Are you out of your mind go to school with the kids? Mary, I'm 49 years old. I have nothing in common with them. <laughs> <laughs> Get one, Juicy. <laughs> Whoever smoked it, don't it. Well, whoever denied it, tried it. <laughs> hmm. They're good. Most of the material the kids are studying would be on your general equivalency test. You'd be setting a good example for the boys. Well, why must be the kid's role model, Muriel. Shouldn't it be their daddy's? Sorry, Kevin. Well, then, if you don't have to go, then the boys don't either. Boys, quit school. Live uh -huh. on the streets. Waste your potential. Hey, I... Yay! <laughs> no school! Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Okay, Muriel, you in. Call the National Guard. I'm going back to school. Class, I'd like to introduce our new student, Thurgood. <laughs> Thurgood rhymes with Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher, he's mocking me. Okay, boys. Be nice. For my favorite teacher. Oh, Calvin, how sweet of you. Aren't you the little charmer? <laughs> uh, Mrs. Stubbs, I got a little something for you, too. Oh. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah, out of your league, boy. <laughs> Okay, Calvin, can you tell me what regulates the flow of blood through the body? Um, um... Nitroglycerin pill! Nitroglycerin pill! The heart? Good! Now, Juicy, could you tell us which vein supplies blood through the heart? The leg! The leg! The leg? No, I'm afraid that's wrong. What? What you mean, wrong? Hey, let me tell you something. I had a vein taken from my leg to supply blood to my heart. Look, I'm gonna have to break it down for the whole class. Can I borrow this? Thank you. <laughs> look, look. Now, through the miracle of hypertension, the blood squeezes through the clogged heart, oozes through the body, bypassing the feet, then back to the heart to start up again. Except for the runoff, which goes through the bladder and directly into the shower. Come on, people, this is not science. Okay. Now, does anyone know what causes a heart attack? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> no more teachers dirty looks. Oh, that's funny. That's a good one. That's rich. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yay! Oh, 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 oh. Very good. How was your day at school? Fine. That's it? Just fine? Oh, who am I kidding, Muriel? It was fantastically great. It was the best day of my life. Very good. That's wonderful. Oh, Muriel, let me ask you a question. Honestly. Have you ever been in love? Because I bet it feels just like this. I'm glad you're so excited. It is so much fun, Muriel. I can't even remember why I quit in the first place. Pop quiz! Pop! Pop quiz! Pop quiz! Nobody told me there was going to be no pop quiz! That's why it's called a pop quiz. It's a surprise. Pop! <laughs> What'd you get for number one? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Thanks. What'd you get for number two? Time's up! Oh. Okay, just sit quietly while I grade your quizzes. Calvin, very good. You got an A minus. Juicy, much better. B minus. Thurgood, well, I'm afraid you failed. 